Tammy Baker from the Fabric Center and I am here today to show you the M7 Continental from Janome. Chris has been showing you um, quite a few machines, but I wanted to show you this one. It's one of my favorite machines in the store. It actually is my favorite machine in the store. Um, one of the reasons for that is this 13 inch bed space. This is amazing. I've done a couple of rugs on this machine and had plenty of room on the bed here. It also has um, a steel drive shaft here that is two thirds larger than its predecessor. So this machine is built to last and built to be a workhorse. So I'm gonna show you a few things about it today that I like. I'm primarily a quilter. Uh, so I use, you know, my quarter inch all the time, of course. One of the things and one of the reasons that I bought this machine is the auto lift on the foot, which I have turned on right now. So I chain piece a lot. So when I have the auto lift on, I go to the end of my fabric, it lifts automatically. I don't have to go up and put the foot down again. I just have to put my foot on the foot pedal. So I can chain piece pretty easily all the time. One of the other th reasons I bought this is because of this huge foot pedal. It doesn't get lost under my table. This is a cutter. This machine is really geared towards me keeping my hands on my project, which is what I want. It's all steel construction. It's got a separate bobbin winder motor. You know, it's just built to last. It's also built to go through many layers of fabric, which is also what I want to do because I want to start making more bags and stuff. So I'll show that in a little bit. But anything that's yellow is turned on in this machine. So there's the auto lift. Here's my toolbar. One of the fun things about this machine is here, which is the hand look stitches. I do a lot of applique. So if I choose the applique stitch a couple of times here, it's the same stitch, but it's different. So I'm gonna put on my F foot. The machine tells me what foot to use, which is nice. It sets my tension for me. It does everything it needs to do so I don't need to know how to do it. Okay, so the hand look stitch, I can do a bunch of applique in a short amount of time and it looks like I did it by hand. And I probably should have put a piece of stabilizer in here and I would if I were doing this at home, but I forgot, so bear with me. <laughs> so look at that stitch. It's perfectly imperfect. I love that on this machine. One of the other things that I like is this QR reader because I can pull up any stitch on the machine, like for example, number 13 on the utility stitches. I have no idea what that stitch is. So if I go to AccuSpark app on my phone, I press the QR reader, I go like that, it tells me everything about that stitch. So I don't need to know. I don't need to pull out my book every time I have a question but then it also goes on to show me different things that I can do or that I might have a question about with this machine. This has been a huge time saver for me too in learning the machine. One of the other things that I like is that there's no screws on the stitch plate. So to pull that up, I'm gonna lock out my machine, press that button, it's gonna pop up automatically. I don't need to fumble around with the screwdriver, which is nice. So now I actually clean my bobbin case like I should. Okay, let's see, what else do I wanna tell you? Oh, about the stitch plates. I've got the zigzag plate on the machine. That I can do every single stitch on the machine with. But if I choose to, and most of the time on my machine, is my straight stitch plate because I'm gonna be in right needle position using my quarter inch foot. So this is on my machine most of the time. So one of the nice, other nice things about this machine is then when I put on one of the other plates, it grays out any stitches that are gonna hurt my machine if I forget, because I got in a hurry, if I forget that I have my straight stitch plate on. My machine prior to this did not have that feature. I'm all about the safety features. This is amazing. So this is what I have on my machine most of the time. Um, this machine, I can change my stitches 
you know, pretty much anything I want in several different ways. I could use the knobs like we're used to on our old machines, or I could press that button and see everything about my stitch and make changes right here. I can also save it as my favorite. Like for example, in my quarter inch stitch. The default for this, and let me go to that, is 8.3 needle position and 1.8 for a stitch length. 1.8 is really tiny because I have to rip a lot. <laughs> so that does not work for me. So I put my machine on a 2.4. I also have a tendency to hug my guide on my quarter inch foot. So I'm gonna bump my needle over to the right by bumping it here, bumping up to say 8.7. Then I can save it as my favorite. I can put it right here and it shows that I have changed it because now it's yellow. Now, every time I come to my quarter inch, it's gonna be my settings. If I get tired of that or somebody else wants to use my machine, they can throw it in the garbage and start fresh. Beautiful feature on this machine. Okay, this machine also has the AccuFeed walking, which is all kinds of power when I wanna go through my thickness when I'm making a bag. So I'm gonna put this on. I'm just going to put it around the ankle like I always would, and I'm going to pop this lever into the back of the machine to engage it. It's all seated properly there. Now on this machine, I need to engage those feed dogs by pressing right here. If I forget to do that, then those feed dogs aren't going to move. They're just going to stay right where they're at. To my walking foot. So I've got some thickness here like I would have in a bag. I have my foot on my machine, my walking foot, and I have my foot engaged. So I can go through a bunch of thickness with this machine. This is a couple of layers. I've gone through four or six on the last bag that I made, and it'll do it. My other machine did do it, but it didn't like it. This machine doesn't care. It's tough. So we have this machine on a special right now, of course, for the quarantine. And then you're going to hear from Chris pretty soon about a bundle that we're putting together with this machine and an embroidery machine. So thank you for listening and we'll see you soon, I hope. Hi guys, Chris again from the Fabric Center. Today I'm going to be showing you the Janome 550E. It is an embroidery only machine. So any of you who um, have thought about maybe um, wanting to embroider or maybe you have an out of date embroidery machine, this might be right up your alley. So some nice features right off the bat on this one. For one, this ginormous hoop. This hoop is eight by 11, super sweet. One of the nice things with it too is that it has this locking mechanism. So I can get my hoop the size that I want it to be, as close as I need, go ahead and pop in this inner ring and lock it and lock it. Much easier to maneuver when you've got a big project. Now, it also comes with several other hoops too. So if I come here to my menu, then, and I'm going to go to my hoop menu just so that you can see, it comes with a five and a half by five and a half and eight by eight. Now I'm rounding these a little bit, but eight by eight, a five and a half by an eight. And then this, the one that I have on here, which is eight by 11. All right. So nice, large hoops. Nice thing about this one is, um, embroidery has become more than just putting a name on a, on a pocket of a shirt. Embroidery now encompasses making purses in the hoop or um, little uh, um, uh, Kleenex um, holders, lots of different accessory type items. The bigger hoops then let you do those projects. It's not quite so easy or available in the machines that have the smaller hoops. So. I'm going to do is I'm going to select a design. So I'm going to come here to the built-in designs or I can simply bring something from my computer with my USB jump drive. So I believe I will choose this little dress form and there she is. 
I'm gonna take her and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna take her to my grid. Now, here she is in the five and a half by five and a half inch um, hoop, but I'm gonna select my bigger hoop and then there she is. So now different things that I can do. I can come here and I can duplicate her so that I have two, all right? I can also make one upside down if I choose or select this one, make it upside down or choose. I can also flip it this way, which you won't see because she's basically a mirror image. I can come here and I can rotate to the left or to the right, all right? So I can customize this how I want. Now I'm ready to add my lettering. I'm gonna go back home, gonna to go to my lettering and come up here to my font menu. Built in, I have three fonts, Gothic, Script, Cheltenham. I can also write in Russian or two letter monogram, three letter monogram and some little border designs that I can play with. So I think we'll just use Gothic or um, my regular Gothic and Let's um, go to my uh, medium sized letter and I'm gonna go to uppercase and I'm gonna select the word I, put in my space, L, O, V, E, and say okay, and put that where I want that to be. All right, now I'm gonna go back home, go back to my lettering, keep it in lowercase, go to, put my space, and I think we'll go to the large, go to uppercase. I'm getting pretty fancy here for you guys. And go to the next page where I have all my punctuation and numbers and say, okay. Whoop, there we go. So then I can sit and play and arrange this. Look at that, however I want it to be. Isn't that fun? Now. I think just as an added little twist, I'm going to select my I love. I'm going to come here to my um, uh, arcing and I am going to arc just that. Just look how simple that is. Now I can place this however I need it to be. Simple, simple. If you have an older embroidery machine, then you're used to having to do a design like this this way your old embroidery machine would want to do say all the gold for the dress here then all the pink and then all the color changes for this one dress then when that's done it would move on to the second design and have you do all the design um, in whole here this machine has a neat feature lets me go ahead here and if i hit this little guy right here then I can select it, I can say okay, and now what the machine has done is it has combined all the colors so that when I, I'm going to select this little key here, it's going to gray out everything that um, I am not sewing. So I just see the part I'm going to do, and I, I see that it's going to do all of the color here, and it's going to do all the color there before it moves on to the pink. So that is a great time saver for this machine. Really, really nice. Now, I'm just going to take it right back to my grid and show you one more thing. I can come here and this machine has a grouping feature. You can see I've got my little wacky design here exactly how I want it laid out, but it's not in the center of my hoop and it is easier if it is centered. So what I can do here is I can group the whole thing. So now it is grouped it and I can say okay. And then simply when I move it, I am moving my entire design at one time so that I can visually center it in my hoop so that it's going to lay exactly where I want it to be. So then when I'm done, we'll just ungroup it because I'm happy where it's at. And then we'll say OK. And I am ready to embroider. Now, my machine is um, threaded up, has a top drop in bobbin with the easy set bobbin case so um, I don't have to worry about bringing up my bobbin case bobbin just like on some of the previous machines I've showed you I'm going to slip this guy underneath another nice feature on this machine is everything's right here I'm not reaching way to the back I simply bring this little knob towards me attach it onto the machine like so and 
if I remove my other colors, I see what I'm gonna do first. We'll lower this down, hit start. And off we go. This machine will embroider up to 850 stitches per minute. So that makes short work of a big design. I can also regulate the speed that the machine does because we don't, just like our car can always go 80 mile an hour, it's not always appropriate, we know. So I can slow that down so that it's appropriate for whatever size of, of the thickness of my design, the size of my design, the weight of my project. I can adjust the machine to that. So you um, see it also has um, a needle threader, very simple needle threader, lots of room to incorporate this big hoop and then all the other hoops that come with it. So you have a nice variety in the size of hoops. So another suggestion I have, we're all making masks. We're all going crazy making masks. If you're caught up with making masks so that your family has a mask to use, and you're looking for a fun project, you can also embroider a mask. So this is my husband's mask. He's a big Shrek fan. He requested this. So this was a design that I purchased off of Etsy. So you can purchase all sorts of fun designs online, download it to your PC, save it on to a stick, and then simply bring it to the machine. So all I've done here, and I did this yesterday afternoon late, and I still haven't even um, trimmed any of my jump stitches, that um and this machine does trim in between jump stitches but you can do your embroidery then cut your mask out to shape and then yes when you go if you're doing the ones with the folds you know yes the fold is there but when the person is wearing the mask then this part will be flat and it will be just as cute as can be it is going to be big he's got a big old beard so we had to accommodate that too so you know grown man has to be a boy but anyway but anyway so this is just another idea of using your embroidery machine and having some fun with it for some special people so if you guys have um any in uh any any questions about this machine or about the M7 that Tammy talked to you about also, give us a call at 815-942-5715. We are doing quarantine specials on the M7. We're doing quarantine specials on the 550E. And for those of you who are interested, we also have a special buy if you buy the two of them together. So give us a call if any of that sounds interesting. We have 12 months no interest also. And thanks a lot and keep calling us. We enjoy being busy. So thank you very much.